Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. One man's trash is another man's culinary treasure. Why would you eat that? Excuse me. On today's menu, it would look totally badass in your dojo. But more than looking cool, snake wine has been used in traditional Chinese medicine since at least 771 BC. And while not recognized by stuffy modern medical practices, hey. it's believed by traditionalists to cure all sorts of things, from headaches and nearsightedness <laughs> to baldness and a loss of virility. Snake wine can be found throughout Asia, but the night market on Washi Street in Taipei, Taiwan is better known as Snake Alley. Here you can find all manner of snake products, like snake soup. But most tourists come for the snake wine. Now if you find a bottle you'd like to take home, it has to be inspected by an official from the wildlife department to be imported legally, because occasionally, endangered snakes are used in the wine. Traditionally, it's a cobra inside the bottle, but in reality, it's usually a yellow-spotted keelback, a non-poisonous snake whose neck has been stretched to make it look like a kick-ass cobra. Probably because, well, have you ever tried to get a live cobra in a bottle? You wanna put me in a bottle? What are you gonna do? Cut! You're a bottle. Back off! Back off, bro! Banged out! Cut! Come on! Come on. Cut! Where you go? Oh, 5 -oh. There are two ways to make this slithery elixir. One is the method of steeping, where you take your snake, you stick it in a bottle with some medicinal herbs and, of course, the rice wine, and allow it to sit for a number of weeks or months. Like the world's most poisonous sun tea. The other more grisly method is to slice the snake open and drain its blood directly into the wine, where it's immediately drunk as a shot. Shots! Why'd it have to be shots? But how does it taste? It's time to feed the office. No? No. Do you even want to smell it? You want some snake wine? Uh, oh, snake wine. Yeah, sure, I'll try some. Wow. <laughs> that smells terrible. It tastes like it smells. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> oh, that's, that's terrible. I feel good. I'm immediately regretting all Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, it tastes like uh, rotten meat. It tastes like something that lives in the earth, <laughs> but not in a good way. I don't know, it's like sour and bitter and came together and had sex in the earth and made a child. Three minutes later, I feel like Superman. Another shot? I'll do half. Just get you up quick. Yes, but why would you eat that? Well, that is the question. This ain't about pleasure, it's all about the medicinal properties in the wine, and many of the bottles tout that snake wine possesses medicinal qualities that can cure a wide range of conditions, from farsightedness to loss of sexual appetite, hair loss to lumbago, sexual potency to sweating of limbs, general fatigue, flaccidness, migraine headaches, flaccidness, rheumatism, did we mention sexual performance? Oh, and flaccidness. Catch a pattern here? In Vietnamese culture, snakes symbolize heat and male potency so it's no surprise they consider this a serpentine Viagra. Most recommend being used twice a day before meals, while a few mention that people of all ages and sexes, including pregnant women, can drink them regularly through all four seasons. If you think snake wine might be right for you and your baby, speak with your doctor. Side effects may include fetal alcohol syndrome, premature birth, deformity of limbs, and in some case, onset sits. Snake wine, it just works. <laughs> Click subscribe and come back next week for more Why Would You Eat That? Mm, yes, subscribe.